Hey, I'll welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of VMware Virtualization. And in this session, we will discuss about cluster, which is one of important topic. Uh, we'll try to understand about the concept and services which is available in uh, uh, cluster. And we'll also try to understand about how we can add our data center or add our ESXi and how we can protect our virtual machines and uh, uh, our ESXi host as well. So let's try to understand about the concept first. Because you know that if your concept is okay, definitely you are able to perform the entire practical and you are able to troubleshoot if you are facing any issues related to uh, cluster or ESXi or HARTRS. So uh, if you know about what exactly happened in the backend, definitely you are able to troubleshoot the uh, cluster related problem. So let's uh, try to understand about the meaning and uh, about the concept of cluster and after that we'll move ourselves to inventory and create one cluster and we'll add our ESXi host to cluster. Fine. So as per the name suggests, if we talk about cluster, so basically it's a collection or group of ESXi hosts. For example, you have a multiple ESXi, like you created a multiple ESXi host. These all are the ESXi hosts and uh, you establish one vCenter server as well like this is our vCenter server right this one is our vCenter and uh, three different ESXi we have already created a one two and three different ESXi available in our environment right so it's our responsibility to protect the virtual machines which is uh, available in ESXi host like uh, each and every ESXi contain few uh, few virtual machine like ESXi host 1 contain 10 VM, ESXi 2 contain a 5 VM, like that. Every ESXi host contain a separate, separate virtual machine. So as we know that if we talk about the use of vCenter, you know that it's a, uh, means the vCenter server responsible to connect multiple ESXi as per the capacity, as per the um, uh, type of vCenter server that you install. Like in installation, we discussed about n number of type a number of types and number types of types of uh, vCenter server are available. Uh, uh, as per our requirement, we can proceed with any like as a tiny, small, medium like that. So as per the capacity, as per the type of server, you can connect multiple ESXi host. So uh, wherever we open the vCenter server, we need to create a one data center as we know that we need to create a data center under the data center we will find one option named cluster so basically cluster responsible to contain multiple ESXi host and VMs as, as we know that if you connect your ESXi host definitely virtual machine will automatically be a part of our cluster so our responsibility to understand about the features or services which is available in our uh, cluster so I'm just going to move ourselves to inventory and uh, try to understand about how to create it and how we can add our ESXi host and we'll also discuss about the features or services which is available in uh, uh, our vCenter server cluster. This is our vCenter server panel. I'm just going to log in with the help of root account. Okay and uh, need to open the inventory of vCenter server. Let me turn on one or two different ESXi, more ESXi, although I have already turned on one ESXi, I need to turn on one more. Fine. This is the panel or you can say that this one is the inventory of our vCenter server. We just need to click host and cluster. And under the host and cluster, I have already created a one data center. This is the data center which is responsible to contain the ESXi host. So. Uh, almost we completed the entire option we already covered the entire option which is available in the data center but now this time we need to understand about the features and services uh, of cluster not a vCenter server okay to create the vCenter to, to create the vCenter cluster we just need to right click on the data center and we are able to find one option new cluster just need to click here provide the name of your cluster like in our case i'm going to proceed with the class cluster no need to turn on vsa uh, no need to turn on drs ha and vsa now 
because we will discuss about the entire option uh, which is available in DRS, HA and VSEN. So we just need to click next and finish. Our cluster, class cluster is ready to use and our responsibility to add the virtual machines, add the ESXi into the cluster and then configure the services like as a HA, DRS and VSEN. So what we need to do, if you want to add it, you just need to drag and drop. If you already connected your ESXi with data center, so you just need to drag and drop. Or uh, you want to connect a new ESXi host, like as I just uh, turn on one more ESXi. The IP address of our new ESXi is 192.168.1.9. So I'm just going to add it. Just right click on your uh, cluster and we are able to find the option of uh, add a host. Just need to click here, provide the user ID and password add a uh, host 192.168.1.9 and about the password you know that root is our password root is a default name sorry okay and click next and finish fine it is in progress Okay, so we successfully connected two different ESXi in same cluster. ESXi host uh, 192.168.1.100 and another ESXi 192.168.1.9. I'm just going to exist the uh, maintenance mode. Fine. So n number of ESXi you can connect with single cluster and our uh, agenda to understand about the features are options which is available in our cluster so let's try to understand about it right click on your cluster n number of options are available create a virtual machine host deploy ov template import the virtual machine configure storage host profile the and we just need we are able to configure the licensing and just need to click on setting because our responsibility to understand about the option which is available in setting because host profile and another option you can find directly by right clicking on the data center that you created before. So whenever we open the property or setting of our cluster, we are able to find uh, three important services. One is DRS, second is high availability means uh, HA, and third one is related to the vSAN. So let's talk about the usage of these three important services. You can say that uh, these services are backbone of our virtualization. So it's our responsibility to know about the features or uh, you can say that uh, um, the concept of HA, DRS and uh, vSAN. So uh, as we know that uh, in our vSphere cluster, we have a three important services. First one is DRS, second is related to the HA and third one is vSAN. So our responsibility to understand about the meaning of DRS and HA and we also need to know about the concept of uh, vSAN. So basically the DRS is related to the distribution resource scheduler which is responsible to protect our virtual machine and ESXi in case of it works just like a load balancer. You can say that the load balancing related to the CPU or RAM optimization or consumption you can say that for example we have a one two different ESXi and you created a multiple virtual machine on ESXi host 1 and few virtual machines on uh, ESXi host 2 think about it if the CPU consumption is more than 75 percent or RAM consumption uh, more than 75 percent so then it will automatically transfer the virtual machine from one ESXi to another ESXi to balance the hardware usage to balance the consumption of CPU, RAM or storage, right? So it can work just like our load balancer to secure to our virtual machines and ESXi host as well. Think about the HA. So in case of HA, for example, we have a two different ESXi. So HA can protect our virtual machine. If any problem occurred with the entire ESXi, for example, the ESXi is damaged down or any hardware physical issues with occur with our ESXi. So what happened? It will be transferred the entire uh, virtual machine from one ESXi host to another ESXi host. 
so it works just like a availability right means it give you the availability of your virtual machine although your ESXi is down or damaged talk about vSAN so vSAN is correlated to the share storage right as we discussed in our ESXi part we have a various way to share the storage like uh, iSCSI can help us and NFS can help to share the space from our share storage to ESXi the vSAN is uh, considered as a virtual SAN. It is responsible to manage our share storage or share LAN that you share from our share storage to ESXi. It is virtual storage area network which is responsible to uh, manage our shared storage virtually. So guys, these three important services are available in our cluster and you can also say that these all are the backbone of virtualization so we'll discuss about the practical implementation as well so in next session i'll guide you how you can manage the drs because the drs is also categorized in various part so we'll discuss practically about the types of uh, drs hn visa and configuration as well so for now just try to understand just uh, um, now, understand about the basic of our cluster that you can perform the practical when you implement the DRS and HA. So this is all for today's class. We'll connect soon with another session and discuss about the practical of HA, DRS and VSAN. Okay guys, take care. Bye-bye. We'll connect soon. And please do subscribe your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Thank you guys. Take care.